John Knowles the author man. John, 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 John Knowles the author man. John Knowles the author man. John, 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 John. John Knowles the author man. John, John Knowles the author man. John, 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 John Knowles the author man. John Knowles the author man. The year is 1926 in Fairmont, West Virginia. A mother, Mary Beatrice Shea Knowles, gives birth to a son on September 16th. This son is John Knowles. He would grow up to write the book, A Separate Piece, winning him a William Faulkner Award and the Rosenthal Award of the National Institute of Arts and Letters in the year the book was published, 1959. During 1926, West Virginia was a coal mining state, and his father was the vice president of the coal company. Both his father and his mother had lived in Massachusetts when they were younger and would take John and the family to vacation during the summer. As Knowles would grow, he would notice a sort of ingrained knack for writing. Using his skills, he would be accepted into New Hampshire's boarding school, Phillips Exeter Academy. Now... As he started out in his new schooling, his grades would seem to drop due to the new and unknown environment. When Knowles was asked about this drop, he would say, It quickly seemed probable that I would flunk out. Then somehow or another, I knocked down. I learned by myself how to study, discovered I had a brain which had more potential than a knack for writing, and by the end of that first term, I was passing every course comfortably. Meanwhile, I was falling in love with Exeter. His time at the Academy would influence him forever and inspire his work, A Separate Piece. Now, A Separate Piece was indeed his first novel, and though he had, had, he had of course, written many others afterwards, none such a writing was so successful as A Separate Piece. Although his novel was indubitably inspired by high school, he did not begin writing it until much later in his life. When he graduated, America was amidst World War II. There's a job of work for these pilots, and boy, do they love their work. Way up in the sky, there are Messerschmitts, Junkers, Heinkels, or Dorniers that are going to get the thrashing of their lives. Here they come, Jerry, you rotten swastinkers, you. He would postpone his higher schooling to join the United States Air Force. It would train to become a pilot. He would have faced pressure in his decision to join the military, as many adolescent males would have felt at this time. Should he have waited to join while he was still in high school? Or be drafted? It was a hard decision for him to make. He would, of course, however, join. What more inspiring incentive to young Britons to become members of air crews than these close-ups of men with wings. By their epic deeds, they swing the Battle of Britain into the Battle of Germany. The day's toll ends in the victory roll. During the past two months, RAF victories have meant that the Germans have lost one plane every 42 minutes. How's that, Mr. Goebbels? But as the Nazi pilot said when he crashed, perhaps I shouldn't have brought this up. After the war, he would feel a compulsion to return back to school. He would go on to receive his bachelor's degree from Yale University in New England. He would work as a writer and would, tr and would travel. During this time, he would write short stories such as Phineas, which would be incorporated into his novel later on. With his newly received degree, he would be hired by a travel magazine. As he worked there, he would also be working on his to-be-well-awarded novel, A Separate Piece. With the found successes of the singular novel, Knowles would be able to leave his job as editor with the travel magazine and focus on his writings. As said earlier, however, none would be as enthralling to us as A Separate Piece would prove to be. He would retire to Lauderdale, Florida, before tragically passing on on November 29, 2001, at the ripe age of 75. The reoccurring theme in his life is when putting his mind to something, he can do it. 
when it looked like he would flunk out of his high school, he was able to pull himself together and crack down on his studying and pulled his grades up. He was able to push through. 